If you have the Credit Karma or the Credit Sesame app on your phone, you might want to delete it, and here's why. So I had to bring Mike for this, right? Because, whew, hey, when it comes to Credit Karma and Credit Sesame, hey, it's on a whole nother level. So, hey, Mike, quick question. Um, when you have Credit Karma, right? You got Credit Karma, right? And every time you get a notification, how does that make you feel? Every time you get notified, that your credit score went up two points, down three points, or a collection got like something happened, you get that notification from Credit Karma. Like, how does it make you feel? Okay, so before we started the credit repair company, I didn't mm -hmm. know what was going on, right? So I would think that, you know, these little small things had something to do with, you know, what was going on with my credit report. Well, really it wasn't because the Vance's 3.0 system is not correct in the first place. Mm -hmm. the, banks don't, the banks don't even use it to make lending decisions. So they, you can't get no money out of any credit karma score. So it's psychologically designed to give you anxiety or to make you open it. It's just like Facebook, just like Instagram, just like TikTok. You can't stop opening these apps and you just don't know why. Credit karma is built the same way. Credit Sesame uh, is just... You know, hey, hey, do you check your credit score like every 10 seconds? Even though nothing's gonna change? I used to, I used to. And this yeah. is where I, I guess your viewers gotta understand that uh, what's going on. So I know what the thumbnail says, I know what the title says. Sometimes you gotta delete these apps because it, it, it's not gonna help you as far as mentally. Once you send off that dispute, you're gonna like wait for a result to come back. But I would challenge everybody to do uh, delete the app and only re-upload it every seven days just to check the results. Because once you delete it, it stops sending you those push notifications, or you probably can turn off push notifications. But I wouldn't suggest that because you need to see if these accounts are coming off. And they're going to show you first before anybody else. So it's like a give it a take. But as, as a consumer, I looked at it one way. But as a business owner, I look at it this way. And a lot of people that are watching this right now are consumers. So when you're watching it or you, you got the app, you don't know what the app is doing to you. It's literally... Um, it's bringing you down, like it's making you depressed for the most part. I would say it's like an abusive relationship. <laughs> like you love I'm somebody. I'm not laughing at that because you foolish. Oh, okay, okay. Yeah, because <laughs> if, if, if you love somebody and you beat them down, that one time you say, I love you, it's like a drug. It's like, oh, they really love me. You know what I'm saying? Like they, they think that you should stay stick it out because, you know, this is the tough time. You know what I'm saying? The tough time that people talk about. So, if you don't know Ooh, what that app is doing, to you, yeah, the app, the app is literally beating you, beating you, beating you. Oh, you got a pre-approval. And then that's when they make you apply for it, knowing, well, not knowing that you're going to get denied already anyway. Because what we need to focus on is the credit profile. If y'all understand, hey, show me some love in the chat, because I, I really want to talk to people to, to, to I, I love to know what hurt, where, where does it hurt? Because if me and Dave can make a video or something that, that help you, where it hurts, then that's that's what we're gonna do. Yeah, because how like I get the notification, oh your credit score went up quote unquote 25 points, but you check the app and it actually went down 25 points. Hmm. Now you upset, like yo, what happened? Why did the why did it go down? Like what did I do wrong? Or why is it affect stop like right what? stop right there? Doesn't that sound like an abusive relationship? Mm-hmm. Ask a woman. Oh. You ask a girl, hey, what? I don't know what I did wrong to him. I'm always nice to him. I'm doing everything. I'm cooking. I'm cleaning. But hey, that don't sound exactly the same. That's why I wanted to use that now. I wanted to stop you. My bad. Oh, man. Sheesh. I see it now. I get it now. It's, just, it's like, dang. Because you check the app. It says this. Nothing's changed, but your credit score went down. Or let's say you removed the collection out, and it came off, but my credit score still went down. And most people don't understand that the banks just not looking at credit card. I mean, that actual score, that score, like you said, is like a a vanity, like a trick. Yep. The whole mind, like that's, yo. That's probably why they name it Vantage Score, huh? <laughs> it's vanity. It's just there. It looks good. Like I got a gold trophy that's made out of plastic. That's what? But it's still gold. You can see it. It look gold to you, but to me, it's plastic. I can tap on it. You know what I'm saying? So if you don't know what's going on. Then you should delete the app and just wait every 30 days I for your it. Or you should just know like your credit score is gonna go up and down until everything is removed. I would say put a note in your phone 
right? Okay. I would still delete the app. I'll put a timer or some type of alarm on your phone. But also on that in that alarm, you need to tell yourself, hey, whatever this app is saying, my credit score is going to be is not true. Because once you go to the bank, they're going to pull, pull a FICO score, right? So even though this app is telling you this, telling you that, once you understand what it's doing, it can't hurt you. Well, I ain't going to say hurt. It ain't going to hurt you that much. Uh-huh. Right? Because I still got it on my phone. And when my credit score dropped, I'm like, what? What? <laughs> and then, you know, once I go in and I see, oh, it didn't really drop. I put it down. But I, it won't do nothing to me mentally because I already know my credit score is high. But for the person who's going through the process, it might. You know what I'm saying? Like, if you can if you take a step back and tell yourself, hey, look, this score don't matter. What I'm worried about really in credit karma is my profile. That's what I'm going to. My credit score drop. Okay, let me look. See what my profile look like. Oh, okay. I didn't pay my card in time. Well, this one card, I didn't pay it in time. Okay, boom. I'm gonna fix that. I'm gonna pay it. And then next next month, I already know my score gonna go back up. Woo. That, right. that, and that's yeah. when you, know, you get into the profile. We 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 stress get into the profile versus the uh, actual score. Cause the profile. Cause most people get this part messed up. I should make another video on that. But most people see. They got to pay their credit card on this day and the statement balance day is a different day. And whatever that statement balance day is on, whatever that statement balance day is, that's that leftover, not leftover, that um, whatever that amount is, is going to be reported to your actual credit report. And most people get that confused. So they pay down their credit card and they go back and use it, but don't realize that they're going to report that whatever you just used. To your own um, actual credit score or your actual credit report. Yeah. So if your if your card is due on the fifteenth, that's what day you got to pay your card to the bank. They might not report how much ba balance you got left over until the twentieth. But usually it's like a three day three day difference. I'm just using five days so you people can understand. So within that five days, if you go to the movies, put gas in your car, pay for a recital, and then um, take your kids out, of course you paid on time and it's low then, but when the 20th hit, you probably used up a thousand dollars and now your score gonna drop just because you didn't know your statement balance date. And that's how they can get you messed up. I'm about to hit 50,000 subscribers. It's all because of you all. I just want to say thank you, thank you, thank you. And we appreciate it. And since we about to hit 50,000 subscribers, hey, that's a huge milestone. Me and Mike's gonna throw a live, live Q&A party so you can get your questions answered when it comes to credit or anything you want to talk about. So make sure you sign up. The link is gonna be in the description and we're gonna be having fun, right? We're gonna be having prizes. We're gonna give away money. We're gonna do what we need to do. It's gonna be lit. So make sure you sign up and register and we'll see you in the live Q&A party whenever I schedule a date and time. But I'll see you in the next class.